the passage plan that you use on the ship should ideally identify some of these points which are known as the abort point or the contingency point or the point of no return. Now students are often asked about these in the oral exam as well as to define these and thought I thought I'll make a short video today uh, telling you about what these all means and why it should be marked in the passage. So abort points and contingency points. Uh, so in certain changed circumstances during the planned passage, uh, you may have to abandon the intended track in spite of uh, good planning and conduct of passage. Uh, the reasons for this could be that deviation from approach lines or machinery failure or malfunction or instrument failure or malfunction, uh, non-availability of tugs or berth, a dangerous situation has developed ashore or in harbor or any situation where you feel it is unsafe now to proceed. All right. Uh, in that case, uh, we have the abort and contingency point marked on the chart. However, when approaching constrained waters, the ship may be in a position beyond which it will not be possible to abort and the vessel has to proceed. Then uh, it will be the position where the ship will enter the waters so narrow that there is no room for it to return or it is not possible to retrace the track due to falling tide and insufficient under keel clearance. In this case, the passage plan must take into account the abort point and the fact that after this point, the ship is committed. That becomes the point of no return. So the abort point is the maximum point up to which the ship can proceed on to make any changes uh, if uh, there is any change in the passage plan. That is the maximum point. Uh, however, after the abort point uh, comes the point of no return, after which the ship cannot come back to its original change. So whatever changes has to be made has to be made before the abort point. Now, additional position I talked about was the contingency position. So a position should be marked on the chart showing the last point at which the passage can be aborted. That becomes a abort point. However, if you abort the passage, then you also need to understand that the position of this point will vary with the circumstances. Example, water depth, speed, turning circle and must be clearly shown alongside the subsequent alternate plan track to save water. Now this alternate plan track, so your plan B is what is called your contingency plan. So if I have to summarize it, remember the abort point is the point up to which you can make any changes to the passage plan if required. All right. The contingency plan then becomes the backup plan. So if you abort the intended passage plan, you adopt the contingency plan. So you can go and adopt an alternate anchorage or if the pilot is not coming or the berth is not free, you can go and anchor or drift in certain area which is safe for the ship. But once you cross the abort point, there is no contingency. After the abort point comes the point of no return. The ship cannot make any changes then to the intended passage or plan. So I hope this was clear to you guys.